What's going on everybody? Jordan Wheeler here with RTR Vehicles and in today's video we are taking a look at the 2015 and up S550 Mustang coilovers from RTR Vehicles. So as you can see, join me in studio today, multi-time drift champion, ultra four champion, owner and president of RTR Vehicles, Vaughn Gittin Jr. What's up everyone? Thanks for having me, man. Pumped to be here to talk about our coilovers. Hey, we are happy to have you here. As you guys can see in front of us here are the RTR Tactile Performance coilovers from RTR Vehicles. This is a monotube design, linear piston dampening on this thing. We got springs, we got sway bar end links, we got an entire setup here. Now, Vaughn, you've spent over a decade behind the wheel of a Mustang. In 2015, Ford steered away from the solid rear axle and went independent. What did you bring from your years of experience in the Mustang to help liven this thing up? It's like actually over a decade and a half. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, you know, I am obviously very involved in all of our product development, but the performance products are just a big passion point for me. Um, and so, what you're looking at here is a combination of a lot of my experience or team's experience, as well as uh, some very trusted advisors and development team that we work with. Um, and so basically what we wanted to do was achieve a very uh, uh, affordable, good looking, great functioning coilover kit for the S550 Mustangs. Uh, one that truly represents uh, RTR and ready to rock, meaning ready for anything. And so what uh, you're looking at here is what I believe to be one of the greatest um, ride quality offering and most uh, adjustable coilovers on the market. Um, so what we started with, uh, obviously we, well, so we partnered with our friends at BC. You know, we use all BC coilovers uh, on all of our race cars. Uh, they make really high quality, precise products uh, at a very affordable cost. They have really good manufacturing processes. And um, so what we did was you know, partner with them to use their existing shock bodies, uh, their high quality springs, and then we were able to uh, in put our valving requirements in them. So where we started out with these is uh, valving wise with our standard uh, dampers. Um, uh, you know, our more OEM style adjustable dampers that we sell as a kit, but also come with like our spec twos. And so we made sure that that valving was in there uh, as well as the ability to go further for when you wanna put really sticky tires on there and you're able to control the body roll. So uh, we maintained the factory configuration uh, for this setup. We did not convert to a true coilover. So we still have the uh, rear damper that bolts uh, to the lower control arm, right to uh, the inside of the wheel well effectively. Uh, the adjuster is within reach. Uh, you just have to jack the car up and you can go you know, uh, between the tire. You can maybe reach up and get your arm in there, but I like to jack it up so I can see exactly what I'm doing. So the adjuster is within reach. Um, then we have our, um, our spring goes straight into the factory spring bucket. Uh, with our ride height adjusters here. Uh, there's also some uh, shock body adjustment here, depending upon if you want to get super aggressive uh, on, the, on the ride height. Uh, everything comes with a bump stop um, that uh, is you know, developed to handle the loads and uh, just a very, very nice setup. Um, now, moving over to the front, uh, very, you know, very similar mindset. Um, we have a um, both have progressive springs, and I'll get to that in a moment, but the front uh, strut has a adjustable uh, shock body to achieve your ride height, as well as optional adjustable preload. So what you get here is two different adjustments to get the ride height without affecting the intent of the spring. Um, and of course, uh, every kit comes with the spanners, uh, the adjuster knob that is already on here right now, it just threads on and lives up there. And then uh, obviously the sway bar end link, uh, that works with the you know lower ride heights and things like that. So, um, you know we have a progressive spring. Why? Why not a, a static? Uh, you know a static spring rate. Um, that is because again we wanted to achieve the ride quality. You know RTR is focused on 
a very uh, diverse vehicle, being good at a lot of things and not just a race car or not just a drift car. So this setup achieves that. You know, you'll get a really, really amazing ride quality. In fact, I would argue probably the best ride quality out of any coilovers out there. Um, and uh, the, the, the magic comes inside of the damping and controlling this spring for when you're, whether you're on the street or on the track. Um, we do, uh, we did design these to retain the factory top hats. Um, we are, and, and that allows us to get to basically the performance pack alignment, which is a great alignment for the street and works well for the track. If you're tracking a lot, yeah, you're gonna want a little more camber in the front. Um, and there is ways uh, to put camber plates on these, but that is not something that we offer at this juncture. Um, but just for those that are interested, it would require a static spring as well as a top hat. And uh, you frankly could call BC Racing right now and they could set you up with that, let them know you got the RTR coilovers and they can set you up with the upper mount as well as the spring rate. Um, but um, you know, for this for this intent and purpose, it was uh, people could buy this, not be forced into a top hat, not be forced into a, a stiffer, you know, more rigid ride, and still have the ability to set the car up for that nice, you know, back road cruising neutral balance or track balance, as well as an oversteer balance for the fun that I like to have. And then of course uh, you can dial in a uh, understeer balance. This becomes uh, really, really, you know, standalone, it works great, but it really comes alive when you add our sway bars to it because now you have all the adjustment. And the sway bars, you kind of look at the sway bars as like the chassis balance. So, you know, depending upon the configuration of the bars and the tires you're using, you can achieve an understeer balance, which is what Ford ships vehicles with. You can achieve a neutral balance and you can achieve that oversteer balance um, for, for drift. Um, and then the damping would be looked at as the fine tuning for the vehicle. Um, so, you know, you can have all this adjustment, you can corner balance the car and dial it in perfect uh, for those that want more than, uh, you know, just springs or just a, you know, a static strut. Awesome, awesome. Now, I had the RTR tactical performance shocks and dampeners on my spec too. And then I eventually upgraded to the RTR coilovers. So like for someone who doesn't have Vaughn Gittin Jr.'s number in their phone book, how are they gonna know when to upgrade and if it's the right fit for them? Yeah, so you know, obviously everything comes into mind, right? Budget and goals, right? So at RTR, we offer the gamut, right? And it all starts with our production spec vehicles, right? The spec one, our springs that come on the spec one were designed for, to work with the production dampers. Um, you know, they, they work well, uh, the dampers still control them, they give a little bit lower center gravity and adds a, a better stance and a little bit increased performance. Now when you take those springs and couple them with our more traditional adjustable strut and shocks that don't have the adjustment like the coilovers, now you get the ability to control the damping. So now you have the ability to use a little bit more sticky tires, stiffen up the damping a bit and control that body roll for track days or whatever kind of fun you're trying to have. Those also really come alive when you use uh, the sway bars. You know, just using the springs are for the guy that really just wants a little bit of performance and the better stance. Now moving over to using those springs and coupling them with the spec two dampers that you talk about, those are non-adjustable on the ride height side, but they are damping adjustable. So for the guy that's, you know, hey, I'm gonna hit the track every now and then, but really I'm just looking to fine tune my car for the street. I wanna go to the tail of the dragon or whatever, and I wanna control that body roll a little bit. I'm not so concerned with, you know, changing the ride height. I like the RTR stance. Um, you know, I like the factory size tires. That's perfect for for, for that guy or, or girl that, that just kind of wants to more, you know, stay on the affordable side, but wants a little bit of an increase in performance. Now for the person that's gonna be, you know, going to the track, using their vehicle for a multitude of different things, street driving, road racing, drag racing, drifting, these have the full uh, gamut of adjustability. You've got the damping, you've got the height adjustment, you've got preload adjustment, you know, um, you know, you may want a little bit more spring rate in the front of the car if you're trying to get weight to the rear very quickly, you know, like such as a drag car. So um, you may want to crank a little preload in there or you're very particular about your ride height or you wanna corner balance your car. Coilovers allow you to do that. Um, you know, every single one of our setups uh, with, you know, the sway bars 
and just the springs or the sway bars and the traditional spec two dampers uh, and, and springs or the sway bars and the coilovers all have a understeered neutral and oversteer balance built into them. And that's why they are called tactical performance suspension package because it's all built to work together, but it's also designed that it can work individually. And so, you know, when I'm building a vehicle, I set my goals, I look at my budget and really be real with myself of what I'm gonna use. And that's why we offer all of those uh, differences. All of our suspension packages, like we take this very serious. Uh, you know, our brand is, you know, obviously we're very close with Ford and, and our reputation and their reputation on the line. So I have my concepts and what I want to achieve. And I, I personally get these things like into the box. And then we bring in some other engineers and to validate uh, not only MVH and you know how loud things are, but also the safety of our kits. Um, so you know when our vehicles leave dealers, we have particular settings that are set up that are safe, like within the realm of where like these engineers would sign off an OEM mindset, um, and then they have the adjustment for the owner to then take it and make it theirs. And so um, you know I, I think that's something very unique that that we do as a you know aftermarket company um but you know for me i want our customers to know that they're buying a good quality product that's safe that we stand behind and um i think we do a lot more testing than a lot of the other the other groups out there which is why uh, you know i'm i'm uh so pumped to have these available on the market and everyone that i talk to at events that gets our kit is like wow i was expecting this but i got that i can't believe how it drives on the street i can't believe how quiet it is but how well it performs and so for me uh, that is the the greatest reward that's awesome and like with anything rtr you guys always deliver at top notch levels and I gotta say, I've been running these on my vehicle. I absolutely love them. I have the RTR Tactical Performance Sway Bars on there as well. Work great together, really easy to adjust at the track. I jack up the car, just like you say. Uh, and I absolutely love them, and they're great for street driving as well. Now, with these things here, you're looking at about a five hour install on them. If you guys wanna check out how that goes, go ahead and click the link down below in the description. We did a video on those over in RTR Garage. If you wanna check these out or any other products we have for your S550 Mustang, go over to rtrvehicles.com where you can find a whole line of products there for your S550 Mustang, as well as Bronco, Bronco Sport, Ranger and F-150, and I think I saw some Mach-E stuff on there too. Yeah, we're, we're, we're doing it all, man. We're super passionate about uh, offering really cool products to make vehicle experience uh, or Ford vehicle experience fun. And uh, that's what it's all about. Awesome. Again, thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Thank you Vaughn for joining us. Make sure to go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And so you don't miss anything else from us here at RTR Vehicles, go ahead and hit that bell notification as well. I'm Jordan Wheeler. This is Vaughn Gittin Jr. Thanks guys. Have fun. <laughs>